Good morning guys, so I've just woken up and was watching the mist burning off and it seems to be lingering around a little bit so I thought I'd grab the camera and show you guys what it looks like. Oh my child I know You hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault and you don't deserve All the bad and the hurt So the sun has finally burnt through the clouds, absolutely beautiful morning, couldn't have asked for better. After a kind of rainy day yesterday we knew it was coming, so we just sat on our laptops and got some work done. And just where our camp set up, I'm under the cork tree and it's dropping all of these acorns everywhere. Need some pigs to eat them. Speaking of pigs, well not really, she's a cat. Gingy Bear is here. Good morning Gingy Bear. Say hello to everyone. No? You're not going to play ball? She's just on an adventure. She's already caught a mouse so she's in a prime element <laughs> so you're probably wondering why I'm holding toilet slash kitchen roll and that is because it's the morning and I need a toilet one of the main things I want to get sorted ASAP is building a toilet shower block so that is probably going to be one of the first projects that we do on the land. I just need to put in a big order for a load of wood today. At the moment I have to wade through all of this wild stuff to get to the toilet. But there it is. It's got a beautiful poo with a view. It's under this lovely tree. Yeah, I'm enjoying my time there I think. So that's the morning duties out the way and remember when we first bought the land and we did a tour I think I mentioned where I wanted my wood fired bathtub and here it is through this wild walkway that I've kind of worked out and it's on this massive slab of granite so I'm definitely maybe I'll build a decking off here for the bath to sit on and then I'm going to have the wood burner next to it I'm gonna have some kind of coiled copper pipe that feeds the hot water into the bath. That's the idea anyway. So I'm gonna do some tests. But this is the bath. Whoa, nearly slipped over. <laughs> and it's got the most stunning view from this bath looking over rolling hills. And it has filled up with water. So as I said, it rained a little bit yesterday. Filled up with water. So it'd be really good if I could do some sort of rain collection uh, system so when I do want a bath it's already full or I can fill it really easily or I pump the water up from our wells. So I've just caught Theo twirling copper around the flue for our outside wood burner. Why on earth are you doing that? <laughs> yep that's exactly what I'm doing. Basically I've got this copper pipe left over from our van build and I thought I'll do a test and see if I can use it for our wood fired bath but I don't think it's going to be thick enough so I'm going to have to get some thicker stuff but I thought it's worth a try see if it works and how it works is I'll put the coil inside the wood burner and then you'll have one piece of the uh, coil high up one low down and what it will do is it will draw the cold water through because heat rises and when it goes round the coil it will heat the water up and then shoot it out the other side hopefully into the bathtub and I'll get a nice warm bath. Are you going to help me find some mushrooms Ginge? Well you've already gone past a few. <laughs> so I just got back from the wood yard as you can see all of the wood is on the roof and got a fair, fair bit not too much I've got a massive delivery of wood coming next week which I'm very excited about Obviously I can't fit that all on the roof, but this stuff is good. I'm going to be using it for 
some sort of like fence so when you're in the bath the wind doesn't come down the back of your neck and ruin the experience. Right guys, so I've actually got a bit of a confession to make. One that I'm a bit sad about. <laughs> so in the last video I said that I'd found these mushrooms and I was going to cook with them and I did and they were so tasty. And I was like, if you're interested in watching a video about mushrooms, let me know. So I've got it all ready and then I come out to get the mushrooms and I was oh, hello. There must have been like the tiniest window of time because pretty much all the mushrooms I had my eye on are now past their best, which is just really irritating but i found one that i think is kind of okay let me show you so this one obviously is not the best because in the middle you can see it's aged quite a bit but other than that it's looking good it's open completely you know nicey nicey and i'm not going to go into the whole ins and outs on how to identify edible parasol mushrooms because i i'm not qualified enough to to do that but i've spoken to people who live nearby who have these mushrooms they've checked them out and they're fine they're edible we've like i said we've had some already so they do say have a bit have a bit first cook it obviously because these ones you can't eat them raw and see how they feel and like i said we've had them and we've been fine so i'm gonna i'm gonna take this mushroom this last one that should be okay because i think it's a window of time and we must have got here right on the cusp of the end of these parasol mushroom stages of life there's a few dotted around but I'll show you the ones that are past their best as well, but what I'm gonna do is I'll take this one out and have a look at it. So it's a handsome mushroom. They've got like these little bits that move. I know mushroom experts will be watching this like what, but one of the reasons I like to pick these before they've fully opened up is because it prevents dirt from getting in the gills. And let me show you if I can find it. Here we've got a little millipede nestle nestled so yeah it's easier if you can get them before they're fully opened and then take them home and let them open at home because then you don't get anything living in them but yeah look there's a little black bit going on in the middle so i'll cut that out probably just use the edges but it's a shame i can't use more of them i've just spotted one down there that is dead there's another one down here that doesn't look too great one thing I will say about these is there's another type of parasol mushroom that the gills, if they go green, they're not good. Now these are white and nice, so this is fine. And like I said, we've been eating them, so it's fine for us. Please, please, if you're going to pick mushrooms, don't just go by what someone online has said. Get them checked by someone who knows. All right, guys, so I've got my mushroom mushroom just the one the rest were all too far gone and I, <laughs> I washed this to get the dirt out and as you can see i was a bit heavy-handed and broke it but yeah it's clean i got the millipede out that was living in there i've checked it all and it's going to get cooked to death anyway so anything that is on there is going to be gone and then this is a whole load of button mushrooms that i'm going to be using because i've decided to make mushroom soup I've never made mushroom soup from scratch before. I found a recipe online that sounded interesting. It's got like, instead of milk, coconut milk. So let's see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be tasty. I'm sad that I've only got one of these mushrooms left, but like I said, they have a, they don't grow all year round. I didn't realize at the time, but yeah, this is the last one. So maybe in the future, if any more crop up, I'll do something different, but I thought let's play it safe. Mushroom soup, let's go. So I've got my mushroom, no I haven't, I've got my onions in and now I'm going to start finally chopping up my mushrooms because I don't have a blender and I'm not, I don't, I'm not having this as like a stew or whatever, it's going to be a soup so yes the onions are actually a bit big but whatever, it's going to taste good so yeah I'm going to cut them into really small, but not too small, but yeah small morsels. 
One thing I've got to say about this mushroom is it's so fluffy, like it's really fluffy like a cloud when you cut it, it's really nice to cut, it's really spongy and when you do cook it, it like shrivels up and yeah, this is really tasty, obviously it shrivels up, it's a mushroom, you guys know what mushrooms do but yeah, I'm going to cut them up even smaller but I just had to tell you about how fluffy it is. So here's the fluffy big parasol mushroom all cut up into smaller pieces that obviously are going to shrink. And then here is normal button mushrooms I've done in slices and then I've done like really small pieces so all mix up nicely. Now I'm just going to lob it all in there. I almost forgot garlic. What an absolute pain that would be. I've got this garlic crusher today from one of the supermarkets and it's so cool. Saves all the chopping. Now I am very loosely following a recipe. I mean it's a very simple recipe. I need to add some flavour, so obviously I've got the garlic in there and the onion and the mushrooms. Here is some oregano, so I'll dump a load of that in. And then this, I got this from Aldi in the UK, oh my gosh. It's so tasty, if it'll focus on it. It's called Barbecue Supreme, which is hilarious. It's got jalapenos, garlic, chilli and mustard in. And that just, oh, so good, so let's dump a load in. I'm just going to cover it for 10 minutes to sweat before I add the secret creamy ingredient coconut milk so this is a vegan mushroom soup so and it's gluten free obviously because I am celiac so that'll be going in in a bizzle but for now we're going to let that sweat Whew. so it's been 10 minutes the water has been expelled from the mushroom so now I'm going to keep the lid off and let the water evaporate before adding the coconut milk. Look at the sunlight coming through on the steam, it's beautiful. Okay, so it's hard to see, but the fluid has come off. So now I'm gonna put some coconut milk in. I'm gonna put half in for now, just to see how much is in there. Cause I've not done the whole recipe that they have on the website. I've done it like half measures. So now I'll mix that in, leave that for 10 minutes so it can all infuse together. And then we'll basically have creamy mushroom soup to eat for dinner. Woohoo! So the soup is done. It looks gross, but it tastes lovely. Mushroom soup never looks nice and it's not a massive portion. So we're gonna have it in mugs. You know, soup in a mug is lovely, so yeah, I'm going to inflict the soup upon Theo now. Much to his excitement. <laughs> Your feet are so grubby. <sighs> Sandal life. Off-grid life. Off-grid living. It tastes so good. Yummy. Are you enjoying it? Have I you tried it? I didn't like mushrooms until she forced me to eat them in every meal. It's because mushrooms are superior. And now, I'm okay. So what do you think of the soup? I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> you also hate coconut milk, so you're eating coconut milk and mushrooms. <laughs> That's actually really nice. Oh good, pass it's the nice. test. <laughs> I like the onion in it. It's pretty cool that we're able to make food with things, obviously the mug is not found on the land, with things that we have growing on the land. It's really nice actually, I'm, I'm enjoying the soup. It's got a little kick to it with that um, barbecue supreme <laughs> mixture from Aldi. But yeah, if you try this really random and very simple soup recipe, let me know what you think. I actually really like the coconut milk as a creamy base, it's really good. So happy with how it's turned out. So that was delicious. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> I'd just like to say as well, me and Theo have decided to challenge ourselves, haven't we? We have. And join a number of other vloggers who are also doing it. We're doing Vlogmas. So we're basically gonna release a video every single day up until Christmas. Now we're starting a day behind. We've recorded the first one on the 1st of December, but yeah. You're going to see a lot of us this month, so I hope you're ready. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you on the next video. Bye. Head over to theindieproducts.com forward slash shop and check out our new merchandise.
Join us on Patreon for exclusive content and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Did your time?